Well, it looks like the perpetually offended folks of Reset Era have gotten their way and forced another game developer to remove something from a game that was affecting a grand total of zero people. Now, this topic is bigger than just this game because I want to discuss how censorship advocates like to gaslight and how they like to scapegoat um, well, anybody who fights back against censorship. Because, to be honest with you, I fight against censorship in video games and in modern media uh, in its purest form. Any form of censorship I have to stand against, even if it's something that, you know, sort of makes me uncomfortable. I don't think that there is a middle ground in terms of being a free speech uh, proponent. And so, therefore, you know, I defend cringeworthy movies like The Hunt. And uh, I, I defend stuff that, uh, you know, maybe I feel like, oh, you know, should it be censored? I don't know. Um, because you just can't pick and choose your battles. You're either for free speech or you aren't. And the sweaty, perpetually offended jobless losers that live on the Reset Era forum have bullied another developer. And this time it's Persona in a, um, in a remake. And, of course, the video games, I'm sorry, Persona 5 Royale. Uh, the games industry is uh, celebrating some censorship. Now, before I get into this, I want to explain how people will push back. And I'll show you examples of it, okay? Because if you believe in free speech uh, and protecting the art that is video games or movies or music, then first of all, I hope that you'll leave a like on this video, you'll leave a comment down below, and that you'll share it out there so that we can teach other people how to look for some of these gas sighting techniques. The most popular one was one that we saw with um, the Final Fantasy VII uh, reboot, uh, the um, Ethics Committee. If we look back on, on the splintering, um, you could say, here's some quotes from the developers. We wanted Tifa to have abs, so she now has more of an athletic body type. The ethics department at Square Enix also said we had to tighten her chest It doesn't, so it doesn't look unnatural and all the intense fighting. Because of that, we added black thigh highs and a tank top. Ethics department? While some, could, some nuance could be lost in translation, it's particularly ridiculous to think that the existence of buxom women is unethical. It's undoubtedly will disappoint some Tifa Lockhart fans and uh, to know that Square Enix is self-censoring their original version of the character by covering up her legs and tightening, think more, compressing, shrinking an unethical chest. Um, and what is the response you get from people on Twitter when you push back? Oh, you can't, you, oh, you, gamers mad because they can't jerk off to a video game. Make no mistake about it, this is a, a way to gaslight, redirect, and uh, straw man, really. Uh, are there people that, that uh, beat their meat to Tifa Lockhart? I'm sure. Uh, but that's not why people uh, fight back against this type of censorship in video games. They don't stand for any of it. And so it's so easy for these pro-censorship uh, blue check marks to get you off track by saying that. And uh, you know that it is not a uh, good faith argument if that's what their response is. And, and you'll see tons of examples of that, of course. Just look through the threats. Uh, and... If we look at the IGN article itself, Persona 5 Royal, Royal will change phobic scenes for Western release, which means, by the way, they're not changing it over there. They're only changing it for the U.S. so they don't get backlash from nobody. Reset Era Forum, who, if they all chipped in a dollar, couldn't afford to buy the video game. <laughs> Atlas confirmed to IGN that the beach scene, among others, will be updated in Royal after fan backlash. Again, who? Atlas confirmed that certain scenes of Persona 5 will be, uh, which were considered phobic by nobody and offensive by many fans, disagree by the way, will be updated and altered in the Western release of the game. Now, look, Persona 5 fans, um, 
this is what you have to do as much as you might not be able to. And I guess it's okay if you just, you know, really want to enjoy your games, but you just can't buy it. Um, you have to stand up against this by not purchasing the game. If you want to import a version of it, I suppose, uh, but still understand that you're giving money to a company that bent the knee to a loser forum like Reset Era. Speaking of IGN, Persona 5 Royal Preview Event, Atlas Communications Manager explained that the dialogue in certain scenes, specifically ones uh, involving Ryuji and two effeminate male characters, would be changed so that those men were no longer shown in a negative light. Quote, we were actually able to go through some of the lines that players may not have received as well, look at that feedback, and then update it for a current generation. Uh, explaining that they've changed both the first scene in which you meet these characters as well as the notorious beat scene where they are featured later on. The dialogue in these scenes have been widely criticized by Reset Era since Persona 5's Western launch for a variety of reasons. Many, again, notice how IGN's writing the word many so often. Who are these fans? Who are the people that actually bought this game and then are concerned about it? How many people are really hurt by this crap? Many fans consider the depiction of these characters to be offensively stereotypical. By the way, I've met plenty of, you know, impossible to tell uh, gay men, but I've also met some of flaming hot gays. Uh, a good friend of mine in the town I live, he literally wears like leggings and high heels to the bar, and he is flaming gay. Let's start with you, shall we? You got the mochaccino face, wonderful skin, and the big broad shoulders, okay? Let's put a dead animal on you. Croc skin, buttercream, buttercream, croc skin, buttercream. What size is the waist? Let's go in. I wanna- Hey! Watch his sweetness. He's got some fire to him. Honey cups. I like that. Go get the clothes. Okay, I'm gonna- Hurry pull, up. I'll pull some items. And he's one of my favorite people there. And so, you know, I, I don't understand, um, you know, the idea that these people don't exist because of course they do presenting the prominent uh, gay characters in persona 5 as extremely aggressive towards a minor no less yeah there's no history of that and intentionally ridiculous uh with intent of making their quote weirdness the joke made worse by the fact that your protagonist provides a similarly insensitive response to their actions atlas described the uh, royal as a chance to make it right well it would be Interesting to me, you know, people, I know this video is going to, you know, whack the hornet's nest and I'm okay with that because I know deep down how I feel, but watch how people will, will, uh, reframe this into, oh, the quartering is homophobic, which obviously I'm not, um, it, it, the, he's man babies are freaking out. No, I'm not freaking out. I'm just not going to buy the game. It's okay. I have a gigantic backlash. I have any other, plenty of other games to play. It's 100% not a big deal to me. The only part of this that's a big deal is that they are bending the knee to outrage over something that damaged nobody, that caused no real harm, that was probably not in ill will, but something that maybe was lost in translation. And they're then using that to garner press for their game. Make no mistake about it. I know that there will be people that want to defend Atlas here and that want to defend Persona 5. But the fact of the matter is they took the coward's way out. They kept it unedited for their home market. But then when they go to the West, they updated it. I mean... Think about that. They don't really care. They just want your money and they don't want the backlash. So why edit it one place and another if Atlas truly believed that there was anything wrong here? They also explained that their localization team has an internal content review team. She described as, quote, very on the pulse of what's right and what to do. She explained Royal was a chance to make it right. That said, report around the Japanese uh, released late last year seemed to indicate that these conversations were generally unaltered in Japanese. We still don't know exactly what the updates will look like. It's not an update. It's a censorship. Uh, top comment on this article. Wow, what a joke. The world needs a quick giving into the Twitter mob and their demands. Right now we're catering everything we do to a vast minority of overly sensitive delusional crybabies that rant about fascism all day every day and simultaneously demand things be censored and canceled because they don't like them Oh, the irony. 
excellent comment, Carson Wells. And you're clear. You you get it. You get it. Do I care what was edited? No. I care that anything was edited to please perpetually offended people. All right. If they were making men's pecs smaller, I promise you I would make the same argument. Show me a case where that's happened and I'll do it. Okay. It's to cater if we look at the reset era back starting in April. Should Persona 5 Royale move the problematic stuff in the new version? First comment, yes, of course. Second, yes. If they don't want to remove the problematic things, I'm not buying it. Yes, they totally should, but aren't going to. This is clearly where the mob started, reset era, and that's what happens. And then when you look at people on Twitter, this is what it is. You get a whole bunch of gaslighting. Here we have Doc. Gamers are mad because Atlas West is taking out the homophobia in Persona 5, the Royal. I expect nothing less. No, they're not. This is gaslighting. Okay, this is the kind of stuff that uh, they will say to shut down conversation to get you to stop poking holes into why they're really asking for censorship. That's not why they're mad. They're mad it was censored at all, and they're mad that they bent the knee. Again, Trey, I hate when Persona finds ta fans talk about how stylish Persona, Persona 5 is. What's so stylish? The phobia. How about Scrafty? Persona 5 Royal featuring less phobia, but also more misogyny. I, again, these people will never be happy. They will never be happy. And when you cater to them, again, these people don't buy your game anyway. Uh, this is what people get mad about. We can look at Veronica here. Persona 5 Royal is adding down the phobia for the Western release, which means it'll still be in the originally, which means yay, because it'll be more pleasant for me to play the game used and they won't get my money. Good. I like that. I, I don't think you should support companies like this. And when you read when you read the replies to the IGN tweet, it's, a, it's basically the same thing. Like, get wrecked, gamers, you phobes. Again. These people don't buy our games. You see comments like, Chad, to the sweaty weebs in the replies, it was a small update that doesn't remotely affect gameplay. Does not matter. Any censorship is not okay. Look, fix your glitches, up, you know, fix design errors, but if you're worried about what an online forum says about a video game and you change it to appease socially inept cowards, then I'm not buying your game and no one else should either. If you agree with this, I hope you'll share this video. I hope it will embolden, empower people to continue to stand up for the free speech and not be shouted down by those that would misrepresent your opinions. Hope you enjoyed. We'll talk to you again real soon.